Houston area father outraged after the man police say killed his son was released from jail on a $3,000 bond. Channel 2 anchor Keith Garvin live at HPD headquarters and just spoke with the father and a victim rights advocate. Keith? Dominic, the accused killer walked out of the Harris County Jail on Friday on a $3,000 bond, but he did not have to produce any funds to secure it. The victim's father says at this point, after losing his son two years ago, he is emotionally numb, but he is still waging a legal battle for his son. No one is in jail right now for my son's murder, but he is dead. The father still grieving and still looking for justice for his slain son, now hit with another blow. The young man charged with his son's murder has been released from jail on a $3,000 PR or personal recognizance bond. Although an amount is attached to the bond, a defendant does not have to produce funds to support the bond. It's not just about my son. It's about what's right. We have featured Emmanuel Thomas' story with our Bill Spencer. Spencer solves it, helping get a headstone to mark his son Blake's grave. Thomas says he was told by a defense attorney that Brian Ordonez Green is now claiming self-defense in the killing, and Ordonez Green's attorney believes they have evidence. The reasons why he was killed is what uh, I'm being told is uh, the reason they allowed him to make a bond so low. But the PR bond doesn't make sense to the family or those in the victim advocate community. I was troubled. I was stunned, kind of dumbfounded in several ways. Andy Kahn, director of victim services for Crime Stoppers, says in his several decades of work, he's never seen a murder suspect walk out of jail on a PR bond. Kahn has concerns for future cases. And the fact that you're given astronomically low bonds to first degree murder offenders and then what appears to be even a PR bond, I don't, I don't know where this is going to end, but sadly somebody's going to be paying the price for this. And there is a meeting scheduled on Wednesday between prosecutors and defense attorneys. The Thomas family also will be there to discuss again why that bond was set so low and also what is next in this case. Reporting live from the Harris County Jail, downtown Houston, Keith Garvin, KPRC Channel 10.